slow view. Look. People sat here. People provided for their families here. Business was done here. So, Mr. Politician, Mr. Lockdown the country, Mr. Let me tweet and get 500 retweets, where the fuck are you now? Where the fuck are you now? Where are you when these people are having to go home to their kids and tell them they're not going to be able to take them to school anymore or buy groceries anymore or provide for their families anymore? Where are you now? You all been fucking around with this country and this economy forever. That's literally what they were doing. They were pissing it up. If they weren't doing fucking corrupt deals, they were arguing in parliament about redundant shit that didn't make any sense for anybody. Now look, where are you now? Where are you now? Look at this view. Look at this. Look at this. All of these hopes, dreams, ambitions, all of it, gone. Gone. Millions in salaries, even more millions in hopes, in dreams. Because what people don't understand is the economic impact of shit. So what that means is for every single person who had a job here, there was a home loan, there was a car loan, there was a student loan for kids to go to school, there was a credit card that the bank issued you a credit card for, there was building your home or renovating your home or building a home in the rural areas where your families lived, there was uh, overseas holidays. There was, this is how you build a fucking economy. So, politicians, where are you now? Quiet now, huh? Nothing to say now, huh? And all you do is you call conferences and you talk about the economy and people who are dying. This is the impact of your stupidity over the past 26 years. You did this. Because if you had built a country that was inclusive with an economy that was growing, we could have survived this shit. But you guys were too busy making sure that you're eating at the trough, making sure that your pockets are lined, making sure that your deals made sense, making sure that you build yourself your homesteads. That's what you guys were busy doing. And for the Neanderthals on the other side of the debate, on the opposition side, you were too busy trying to earn votes. So excuse me when for the first time ever in my social media I make the words, fuck you. This is the impact. This, this is the impact. Please make sure that you don't watch this video sitting in front of your kids. I would apologize for my strong language, but you know what? For the first time, I think that strong language is exactly what's needed. The problem is we live in a world today where at the end of the day, people want to adjudicate how you say something, not the thing you're saying. So if you're worried about my language right now, maybe you're a part of the problem. Let's forget language for a little bit. Let's deal with substance, not form. Let's deal with what things are, not how they look. This is not, this is not racial. The people who worked here that I knew were my skin color. So don't come to me about the white economy. I wish you the best of luck. Every single one of you that